How does the magic happen? Everything starts by measuring the physiological signals of the driver. Here are some examples. Sensors on the door handle or steering wheel of the car can detect forceful grasping, which is usually associated with stress. Heart rate and respiration can be measured remotely using software we have developed. We have incorporated existing biosensors into the steering wheel to directly measure stress indicators such as increased palm sweat. We have successfully validated this type of sensor in other real-life settings and demonstrated this is possible. Finally, gathering voice features such as pitch and volume as well as measuring touch interactions with the GPS, we can provide indications of stress. Once emotional information is measured, the car can tune its behaviour. Under extreme stress, it's common to experience tunnel vision, which may negatively affect our awareness. The car could compensate for this by increasing the field of view of the headlights. If the car detects that the driver is overly stressed, it may recommend listening to relaxing music or to reduce the temperature inside the car. If the driver is too calm or tired, a more active song may be suggested. The voice of the GPS could also be modified to mirror the emotional state of the driver and build empathy. To combat stress, information can be provided to the driver so he or she can take control of the situation before it's too late. We built Auto Emotive to display the stress levels through a subtle colour change on the dashboard. The same type of information can also be provided to other drivers to improve driving safety. We built a prototype showing that thermochromatic paint could be used to change the colour of the car, indicating that it may be better to keep a larger separation. We could also make predictions about the future stress levels of drivers and appropriately tune the car to face challenging situations ahead. Aggregating stress levels of hundreds of drivers around the city, we could find the most stressful areas. This information could help design better cities and maximize the well-being of its citizens.